become my soul that suit prepared. MHB 540. John Newton, who was born in London in July 24th, 1725, and died December 21st, 1807, occupied a unique position among the founders of Evangelical School due to the romance of his young life and the striking history of the conversion as to the force of his character. His mother, a pious dissenter, stored his childish mind with scripture, but died when he was seven years old. At the age of 11, two years schooling, during which he learned the rudiments of Latin, he went to the sea with his father. His life at sea terms with wonderful escapes, vivid dreams, and sailor recklessness. He grew into an abandoned and godless sailor. The religious fits of his boyhood changed into settled infidelity through the study of Shaftesbury and the instruction of one of his comrades. Disappointing repeatedly, the plans of his father he was flogged as a dissenter from the Navy and for 15 months lived half-starved and ill-treated in abject degradation under a slave dealer in Africa. The one restraining influence of his life was his faithful love for his future wife, Mary Cutlet. This hymn indeed will be sung in a tune named Albamas. It was originally composed by John Newton. However, the Tema Youth Choir sings a rendition composed by Frank Papabedu, the music director of the choir, who dedicates the song to a dearest one, Priscilla Kujo, who is also named Abba Manso. Abba Manso has suffered some pain because of a crisis, and this moment we use this as an opportunity to pray for anybody who is in pain, psychological pain, an emotional pain, and indeed a physiological pain, that the Lord who is able will keep us and heal us. While a pilgrimage here, let our life, our spirit cheer, as my guide, my guide, my friend, lead me to my journey's end. MHB 540. 